dear viewers assalam alaikum today we will discuss what is pharmacodynamics or mechanism of drug action it is our second lecture on medicinal chemistry before this we have first lecture on medicinal chemistry in which we discussed that what is medicinal chemistry our introduction about drug design synthesis and discovery process and in that video we discussed that what is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics so today we are going in detail of pharmacodynamics which is the mechanism of drug action so pharmacodynamics is actually the effect of drug on our body the mechanism of action of drug or how it works it means that how drug works on our body principle of drug action drug acts by either stimulation action replacement irritation or cytotoxic effect so these five are the different methods or principles on which a drug acts on our body so we will discuss one by one in detail so first is stimulation what is stimulation stimulation is enhancement of activity inside our body so sometime drug acts on our body and enhances the certain activity inside our body like caffeine caffeine is central nervous system stimulant so it stimulates our central nervous system for work acetylcholine acetylcholine is smooth muscle intestinal smooth muscle stimulant and it stimulates smooth muscle uh, working inside our body depression some drug works by decreasing the activity inside our body so if there is certain activity inside our body and then it will be decreased by the action of some medicine or drugs like barbiturate 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 is actually the central nervous system depressor and quinidine quinidine is the heart rhythm depression so it depresses the heart rhythm so quinidine is actually the alkaloid so there are a lot of examples on these type of medicines or drugs which are stimulators or depressors or uh, cytotoxic but we are going to discuss here either two three examples for our understanding irritation sometime the drug or medicine causes noxious effect on our body or it causes inflammation or itching or redness due to strong irritation effect sometimes we observe that when we apply balm on our skin it is painkiller but we feel irritation or a cool sensation on our body replacement then body fails to produce certain hormones enzymes are certain type of metabolites in our, inside our body then we can replace from outside so there are certain medicine that are replaced by external externally like hormone levodopa levodopa is used in case of parkinson's disease when there is deficiency of the dopamine then levodopa is uh, given outside from outside the or outside of the body and it helps to treat parkinson's disease insulin insulin is injected when there is deficiency of insulin inside our body and it causes diabetes so insulin help to reduce diabetes or sugar level inside our blood iron deficiency of iron causes anemia inside our body so we can uh, replace uh, this deficiency by taking iron from outside like in the form of folic acid 
cytotoxic action. Some drug acts by killing cell inside our body. So they kill cells which causes diseases or infection inside our body. For example, chloroquine. Chloroquine kills Plasmodium falciparum inside our body when we have malarial infection. So these drugs are anti-malarial. Cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide kills cancerous cell inside our body, so it is anti-cancer drug. Zidovodine. Zidovodine is antiviral drug and it is used when there is HIV infection, which is human immunodeficiency virus and it causes infection inside our body. So Zidovodine is applied. Mitomycin. Mitomycin is antibacterial drug and it causes by killing the bacterial cell so it has mechanism of action by killing cells there are a lot of antibacterial drugs and uh, uh, all these drugs have different mode of action inside our body uh, but uh, we are going to discuss here that cytotoxic action so mitomycin and some other drugs have cytotoxic action and they kill bacterial cell inside our body mechanism of drug action how drug produces its effect inside our body. After this, we will also discuss uh, each drug or like antibacterial or antiviral drugs and their mechanism of action one by one in detail. But today, uh, we are generally discussed that how drug acts inside our body. So some drug acts by virtue of their physical or chemical properties. They are not going to hit certain targets are receptors like lixatives. Lixatives are uh, smoothing, they are used for the smoothing of stool or they are used for constipation. The example is flax seeds, aloe vera, so they can be used uh, as a lixative. Antacid, there are certain medicine that are antacid and they reduces the acidity inside our stomach like magnesium hydroxide. And the second type of drug acts on targets are biomolecules because all of the targets inside our body are actually macromolecules or biomolecules. So drug acting, drugs acting on biomolecules. These biomolecules are either proteins, nucleic acids, DNA or RNA or lipids. Most of the drugs inside our body acts on proteins. Proteins as drug targets. Most of the medicine or drugs binds on proteins and they make proteins as their target. For example, enzymes. Enzymes are protein in nature and they are biological catalysts that are involved in many reactions inside our body. And most of the medicines when bind with the enzyme, they causes inhibition of the enzyme or they stops the action of enzyme and they are called as inhibitors of enzyme. Sometime a medicine binds to the enzyme and it causes activation of enzyme and they are called as inducers. Ion channels. Ion channels are pores across the membrane. They are also made up of proteins and they causes transportation of ions across the membrane. Transporters. Transporters causes facilitated diffusion by transport by transmembrane proteins. They are also transmembrane proteins but they are not like pores but they causes facilitated diffusion. When certain molecule binds to the protein it flips across the membrane and then it causes transportation of that molecule from outside to inside or inside to outside. Receptors. Receptors are also made up of proteins and they, these are the sites present on the membrane surface where certain molecule binds and they, uh, they causes the cell to perform its function or they produces the signal inside the cell for certain function. Enzyme inhibitors. There are different type of enzyme inhibitors. They are so enzyme inhibitors 
or the drugs or medicine that inhibits the action of enzyme either by competitive mode of inhibition, uncompetitive mode of inhibition, non-competitive inhibition. So how these type of enzyme inhibition can be find out or how we can find out that what type of inhibition it is. So you can watch my video on finding type of enzyme inhibition and KI value on my channel. So in that video you can uh, you can find detail about enzyme inhibitors and their mode of action. Acetazolamide we have given here an example of acetazolamide which is a commercially available drug for the treatment of glaucoma. It is a competitive inhibitor of carbonyconidrase enzyme. So in this way there are a lot of medicines that bind with the enzymes with different mode of action. Ion channels and transporters. So drug acts by blocking ion channels are binding on the transporters and they inhibit their action. Like quinidine, quinidine blocks myocardial sodium ion channel. Then therefore when we use quinidine, sodium ion cannot be transported by that channels and they will be blocked. Canagliflozin Canagliflozin inhibits sodium glucose uh, uh, transporter to decrease sugar level inside our blood. So canagliflozin can be used for the treatment of diabetes. So it inhibits sodium glucose ion channel, uh, sodium glucose transmembrane transporters. These are not ion channels but these are the transporters that causes facilitated diffusion of sodium and glucose. So what are ion channels and transporter and how they works uh, you can watch my uh, watch a video on these ion channels and transportation of electrolytes on my channel and in that video uh, you can find out the detail about different type of transportations and the role of transporters inside the cell. Receptors Receptors are the binding sites present on the cell surface that are also made up of proteins and they initiate response after binding with a certain molecules. These molecules are either agonist or antagonist. So in our next slide we will discuss that what is the difference between agonist and antagonist. Here I am going to show you some examples of antagonist. Examples of receptor antagonist like beta arrestin. Beta arrestin is actually the antagonist of dopamine receptors. So it causes the inhibition of this receptor and it blocks the action of this. The second example is histamine H1. Histamine H1 is the antagonist of G protein coupled receptor. So they are called as GPCR proteins and they are frequently present on the membrane and they have different functions. So when histamine H1 binds, it acts as antagonist. Now we will discuss what is agonist and antagonist. So first agonist. Agonists are the drug binding on the receptor and activate receptors for its action. So these are the drugs or medicine that binds on the receptors and produces its action. So without agonist, a receptor will not perform its function but cause signaling inside the cell. Like opioids, like morphine or opium, they are they binds on opioid receptors and perform the and causes them to perform their function. Reverse agonist, reverse agonist causes action opposite to agonist. Like GABA, GABA binds to that receptors and it causes it causes inverse of that action, and GABA is gamma aminobutyric acid antagonist antagonist prevent the action of agonist or we can say that they prohibit the morph pharmacological action also they when they bind with the that same receptor they uh, prevents the action of that uh, function of that receptor which is producing signals so they stops the signaling like 
naloxone so naloxone is the medicine that uh, inhibits the function on opioid receptors nucleic acid as drug target nucleic acid can also be used as a drug target there are certain medicines that binds on nucleic acid and perform their function like 6 mercaptopurine it is an analog of purine when it binds to the nucleic acid it performs anti proliferation it will stop the uh, proliferation of the cells so another medicine gemcitabine it is used uh, in chemotherapy it is also anti-cancer agent and it binds with the nucleic acid and stops the cell cycle or synthesis of nucleic acid. Lipids as drug target. For uh, lipids, there are very few medicines that binds on lipids like vancomycin. Vancomycin is antibacterial drug that binds on lipids and performs their function. And it inhibits the synthesis of cell wall. Thanks for watching my video. In our next video, we will discuss uh, sources of drugs and the classification of drugs. Thanks.